everybody, and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear to my spirit. So let's talk about something that's simple. Let's talk about how to be happy. A lot of us are totally damn miserable. We don't have, we don't, we wake up in the morning miserable. We stress out all day. We just miserable people, okay? Um, We wouldn't know how to be happy if we tried. And I don't even think we're trying to be happy no more because we just like being miserable. Um, and it reflects in our attitude and our health. We just miser- just miser- a miserable person. So let's talk about how not to be that way. I mean, because it's easy to wake up and just say, I'm going to be pissed off all day. That's the easiest thing to do. But the, 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 the growth is when you try to fight through your obstacles to make yourself a better person, to understand that shit is just temporary. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need for you to just be in your feelings forever. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And as you know, I got to pay these bills. NicoleArcher.com is where I be. If you ever need anything from me, you want to schedule some time to talk. Uh, free, 30-minute conversation, let's talk. Um, I also have my herb business. If you need some, if you would like some custom teas to help you with your health, I'm all for that. I do excellent herbal consultations. I am your sister from a different mister. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear to get the results you want and and be the person that you want to be. Average Woman Channel on YouTube is a great resource for some videos and some more content. I love you. We'll be right back after this message from our sponsors. so let's talk about it today today we're talking about how to be happy some one of the most simplest things that you think that a person would be able to do but some people just don't understand like you just like you choose to be miserable you have to choose to be happy okay so the first thing that you need to understand is that if you are here wreaking habit trying to ruin people lives disrespecting and hurting on your baby daddy and disrespecting and hurting on your kids you ain't supposed to be happy. You supposed to be miserable because that's what you inflicting upon people, a whole lot of misery. All right? But I understand you know that that's all you know because you might have been raised by a hateful old woman. You know what I'm saying? And if you raised by a hateful old woman, you know that's the spirit that you take upon, but understand that number one the one the most wonderfulest thing in the world is that there is a god in the sky and we have someone to, to, to talk to and to rely on and to depend on. I know you don't feel like that's nothing because you don't have no faith. But understand in this type of world that we live in, really all you got is faith. You just got to believe the shit and walk on it. Ain't nobody going to come down here and try to confirm, you know, your doubts and, and disbeliefs. It is up to you to believe that there is a, a, a brighter side and, and a better a better side to this rainbow and, and something else better for you out there. It's up to you to believe that. But if you choose to close your eyes and lay down like things don't exist, you're not going to be happy. And yes, the Age Woman podcast is a a spiritual base, so I believe in God. I couldn't be who I am. I couldn't talk the way that I do if I didn't believe and and have that. I am nothing without the men that I follow, okay? One of the most greatest men that I'm going to ever follow is my father, period. My, my father in heaven, <laughs> the most high God. That's one of the most greatest men that I'm ever going to follow in my whole life. I suggest that you love him. You fall in love with the idea of him. You fall in love with the idea of what he sent his son to do for you. Just fall in love with that all. Just melt yourself in butterness with all that love that he got for you. You understand? And you got to walk in that. You got to walk in that and you got to understand that in order to really receive his love back, you got to do what he asks you to do. And the first thing that he don't want you to do is mistreat his men. You cannot expect a man, a father, to be happy by his daughter who mistreating his son or a woman that's mistreating his his history. We, we totally miss the concept. The reason why you're not happy is because you're giving yourself to the wrong things. When you totally commit yourself to just one thing, just commit yourself to the man in your life that, that chooses you. Commit yourself to that. All your romantic ideas and everything that you want to be, put your efforts into him. Love him with everything that you got. 
and the most high is going to bless you. You have to commit yourself to something. Commit yourself. I know it's, I know you want to be a hot girl. I know you want to run the streets all summer. I know you want to do what you want to do, but you can't do that. Your vagina is not meant to be used as a sock for multiple feet to go in it. You have a vagina to receive one foot. <laughs> and I know y'all, a lot of y'all don't receive more feet than that. But for you to, you, you, when you, when you use yourself like that, you're not going to be happy because you're not fulfilled. You don't have anything that you feel belong to. You don't have nobody to really care about you. And that's because y'all like renegades right here. You know, I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. And that is a lie. We all need each other. We need somebody to give a fuck about us. And your homegirl, as soon as she get a man, she is going to cut you off. Trust and believe. So you can think that the girl cold and we going to be single sisters forever. No, we not. Because as soon as I start talking right and this man really start liking on me and he can't see that I was, I've been a whole my whole life and accept me for being and want me to be his woman and I like him, I'm going to change my whole ways for him. The, the, the man, she going to change her whole ways for him. And it don't have to be the, 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 the right God in your dreams. It's the God that God sends to you. He has somebody already picked out for you. So for you, and he's going, he's probably, you probably already done disrespected him and sent him on his way. You know, you don't get, you don't get, good men are, are hard to come by. And, and it's a special man out there that, that is, that God made for you, for you, that you were supposed to follow, that you were supposed to love, that you were supposed to respect. But you was like, nah, I want to do what I want to do. So you missed him. You know, and he may send you another one, but I'm telling you, as time go on, and especially when you live in Wicked, it's hard to find you somebody that to, to be with. You know, you you want somebody that's going to really fucks with you. But you 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 looking for, and then, like I say, it's, it's a choice, y'all. You can't do foul shit and expect to be happy. Don't work like that. Don't work like that. You're not going to be able to find nobody who I hear living ratchet that's really happy with their current situation. You're not going to be happy out here finessing and robbing men. You're not going to be out here begging for, for begging men like they supposed to take care of you and pay for your hair weave and shit. I don't know. That's all. That's that whole shit, y'all. And you're never going to be happy thinking that you could fulfill loneliness with money. Lonely Money don't help you with loneliness. Money is just a, a means to purchase things. That empty feeling that you're feeling is a lacking in your soul, boo. You can't feel that with Louis Vuitton pocketbooks and fingernails and shit. And you're getting older by the minute. And, and I mean, I, I would hate for you to turn around, you 30, and still got the mind of a 19-year-old. And you out here in these streets talking about you want a husband. You ain't going to find one. You ain't going to find one because you still operating as though you are a child. And that's a problem. That's a serious problem. That's a serious problem for you as a woman. That's a problem for your children. You, you, you I mean, come on, you know, ain't no man going to deal with you because number one, when you're young minded, that means you talk real fast. That means you're, you're thinking real slow and you're real violent and aggressive because you can't have your way. and You think that that's the right way to go. You ain't supposed to be happy like that. You supposed to feel absolutely miserable. Okay? It's it, it's a choice to be a common, soothing spirit. You have to choose not to let you know how James Brown say, I ain't gonna let you get me out of myself. You gotta choose to be a, a pleasant, loving, relaxing, happy person. That's not something that just occurs because you don't put in no work. Okay? You gotta put in work to 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 feel like something, to to uh to feel whole inside your spirit you gotta believe in god because that's that's your creator that's where your detachment comes and guess what whether you believe in god or not he believe in you god believes in you and he knows you he made you and he like whether you fucking with me or not i'm fucking with you so you better try to do what i say because it is not your it is not you who keeps you here it is the will of something greater than you that keeps you here, keeps you on this earth, keeps you 
you know, doing what you're doing. And the more you walk in that purpose, the more you decide, I'm going, I'm going to love this man. This man want me as his woman. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Even if I don't know what's right, I'm going to just do right by him. Whatever he asks me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be loyal. I'm not going to cheat on him. I'm not going to be searching for other men to validate me because get the fuck out of here. You don't need nobody to validate you. Validate what? You searching for attention and all this other stuff. Stop it. Love the man that loves you. Respect the man that respects you. Be good, a sweet, pleasant person. I'm not saying be nobody fool and nobody sucker. But the first thing that you need to do is, is start loving your kids a little bit more. That, that's the first thing you need to do. You got to start loving your kids a little bit more than what you're doing. You got to talk to them a little bit more. You got you to gotta be in their life a little bit more. And that means giving up some of the bullshit that you own out here in these streets. Okay, give up some of the bullshit you own. Love your kids a little bit more. If you ain't got no kids, all praises. Love on your, go home and love on yourself a little bit more and get your mind right. Try to learn something. Try to educate yourself. I ain't saying go back to school, but you need to pick up some skills or so. whatever you lacking in. You need to work on that shit. And sometimes you need to be alone to work on some things and think about some things. You not seen people do the same shit you doing for years. Don't you think that it's time to to let go of some of those behaviors that we know that don't suit us and not benefiting us and helping us move forward in life? I would think so. I would think that I would take a pause to any cause that's not going to get me to where I want to be at in life. And the foolishness that we own is not going to take us anywhere but to a road of unhappiness. I don't want to see my sisters unhappy. I'm telling you, when you have faith, you don't be stressed. You don't stress about money. When you not, don't be materialistic. Don't nobody, listen, pretty soon, I'm telling you, all the women with the BBLs and the face ups and the Botox and all that, that stuff, they don't even know. Most of them probably done contracted diseases. You see the girl walking around here, she done had AIDS for years and didn't even know. Now her damn legs so weak she can't even stand up. It's a lot of women that's about to have this story. It's a lot of us. It's a, it's a lot of us out here that's just running, doing doing all kind of wicked stuff and think that God going to have our back. Now nah, you about to catch a hard one. The more you out here running, cheating, stealing, hurting, lying, this and that, the more you getting away from who you supposed to be as a woman. You ain't going to never reach woman status. You just going to be that hoe. Because, you know, that's just shit that hoes do. Whole women, we ain't in the streets. Women, we want to be kept, kept with a, we keep a man. We want to, we want to be kept by a man, so we're going to do what it takes. My first, second, third priority from, from turning 18 years old was to make sure that I kept me a man. That's how you need to think. And when you think about things like that, if, if that's your, your preference, if that's your, if that's your desire, you want to keep you a man, you got to do what it takes to keep you a man. You can't be out here in these streets just living your best life how you want to do it. Because that's not how shit works. That's not how things work. Understand? The only way you can live your best life is the righteous, honest, a righteous, honest way. Period. A righteous and honest way. That's how you have good things. I told you, if you out here robbing and finessing and shit, you ain't going to have no good results. Ain't nobody fucking with you. And you're going to take a loss and probably get your scalp peeled back. Because that's, that's, that's the only thing out there in this world for fast, hot, hot in the ass young ladies is death. And you see we don't have no respect for us. It seems like when we put on no wigs and, and eyelashes and makeup and stuff, we absolutely lose our mind. We forget what's real. We, we, we all in fake land. You're not going to be happy living in fake land your whole life. Because eventually you got to come and take that wig off and look at what you see in the mirror. Which is who you is. But you done put this lie out here and you got to keep trying to live a lie, live a lie, live a lie. Nah, take that shit off. Look at what you're dealing with. Work on that. Work on what, work on what God made you to be. You know? And then you going to find some happiness because you, you taking off the facade. You releasing yourself from these high, low values that you put on yourself. <laughs> that you got to be to this and you going to be to that and you're standing all parrot paratoed and pigeon booty because you want to be out here taking cute pictures sit down y'all sit sit down see that don't that just shows you that you can dress up and, and play makeup real, real real good 
women, we once we reach a certain age, we stop playing makeup. We stop playing dress up. We deal with who we are as women. And the more the more willing you are to deal with who you are as a woman, the more happier you are going to be. Put away those childish things. Stop thinking that you can say and do whatever you want. Tame your mouth because your life and your death is in your mouth. Okay? Tame your lips. Watch what you say. Allow yourself to be led by a man. There is nothing more beautiful than to submit and chill and just be with this dude. That's what you're supposed to do. You mean that's all it is, y'all. Once you once you get out your mama house, you supposed to find a man, cleave to a man, make babies with this man, and be happy with him. Barbecues, trips, whatever the hell you plan on doing with this man, that's your man. That's how it go. Some kind of way we thought that it's something else. Nah, we're not supposed to be building houses with different men, babies and all. We're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to just stay with one dude and kick it with him t- forever. And chill. That's how that's how you get blessed. That's how you be prosperous. That's how you 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 that's how you become that Proverbs 31 woman. Which I know that's your heart's desire. That's my heart's desire to be that woman. You know, have business about myself and be be someone that God approves of. Don't you care about what your master think of you? Don't you care about what your your, your father in heaven think about you? You care about what master think. You care about what the white man think about you. But you don't care about what God think about you. You don't care about what your husband think about you. You don't care what your kids think about you. You don't care what your mom and your daddy and them think. Your sisters and your brothers. Ken and non-Ken. You don't care what they think. Nobody else's opinion matters and all this. You should care about what God think. I care about what God think about me. Because I can't. you can't hide who you are from him. What you do in the dark, he see that shit 24 hours a day. He's always watching you. And then you ain't going to get away with anything you do in the dark going to always come to the light. When you hear that there, you should be like, damn, I, I can't be sneaky. No, you cannot be sneaky. Because <laughs> what you do in the dark will always come to the light. It's always going to be, you you never going to ever get away with anything. You always going to pay for the wrongs you do some kind of way is what that means. So you should always try to strive to do what's right. Don't be out here in these streets robbing and stealing and killing and murdering people. Man, that is whack. Who does that? And then expect to be happy in the long run. Nah, you're going to get your judgment. Because that's what happens. All right? So I'm not going to talk your head off. Remember, NicoleArcher.com, QueenFromCreation at gmail.com. I'm here. I'm your sister from a different mister. I got nothing but love for you. Until next time, Shalom.